Similar to the variant, this bunker is made for all of the solo chads out there, with some awesome features including some really cool peaks, two outer bedrooms, a total of three turrets, room for your mini, room for all of your loot, a compound with three entrances, and a super strong bunker. This base has it all. Plus, it's got a fridge, like you really don't need much more. Anyway, enough of me yapping, let me give you a tour. Coming up to our front gate entrance. We have some cool little peaks in here. Coming through the second door, we have a nice little oil refinery guarded by a door. We also have a nice little bedroom. Unfortunately, I can't fit a bed in there, but a bag would do. Coming up through the airlock of the base, we have a nice little window for some extra peaks. We also have a fridge, research table, repair bench, couple boxes, a battery, and our entrance to the third floor. Up here, we have a bed, couple lockers, mixing table, computer station and entrance to our cool little peaks. We also have a garage door protecting all of this. Jumping up to our rooftop access where we can store our mini, we have a turret gardening it all and we also have some really cool peaks up here. Coming back down through the bunker. We have our weapon rack here, tier 3 workbench, 3 electric furnaces, loads of bulk storage and our tool cupboard, which is very, very cheap. And that's the base. We're going to start off this build with 3 triangle foundations. Cover that in with walls and we can place a wall frame on the front. Place your roof and you can put your door down. For the TC, we're going to place a half wall and a triangle floor frame. Place your tool cupboard inside that and you're good to go. As soon as you're ready to upgrade the base, we're going to go outside, place two triangle foundations like so, place a wall frame, cover it in with walls and a triangle frame on top of that. Now out of twig, we're going to create our bunker. So we're going to go one triangle, one square, nine triangles out it with a square and delete all of the twig coming back. Come back in squares and place a triangle foundation here. You should have this stone texture in the bottom left hand corner. If you do, upgrade. Delete all of the twig and come back again with nine triangles. One square, delete all of the twig. Come back in squares once more. And we can place a wall here. Place a triangle on top of that, making sure it's connected to that. Upgrade this wall. Now this triangle should be 31% stable. If it is, upgrade it. We can then connect another triangle to that. It should be 11%. If so, upgrade it. Just to test to see if your bunker works, you're going to place a twig frame here, standing on that triangle. And demolish the frame and the other bit should uh, demolish as well. Now for this bit, we can just use a furnace for a jump up. Creating the second layer to our base. We can create a jump up with a shelf in between. And you can fill in the rest with the walls, placing a doorway on the front. Go ahead and place your roofs leaving one to the left of the door as a triangle frame or you can make it wood and hatch it out later. From here we can go ahead and completely honeycomb the entire base. After you've honeycombed the base, making sure that's still 11%, go ahead and place a door down on the front and we can start our external peaks. Just to the right of the door, we're going to place one triangle, one square, one more triangle. Delete these two, come back with two squares and a triangle. Delete all of the twig and come back in half moons out of triangles. Place two squares and you can delete all of this twig. Upgrade these and you can do the exact same 
skipping one and do the exact same here. From here we can go ahead and create our external tool cupboards. Now I'm going to speed through this, it will be in 2 times speed, so if you need to, use YouTube settings to slow it down. From here, everything will be symmetrical. So placing two uh, frames here and exactly the same on the other side. Go ahead and place triangles on there and you can place windows here. Jumping up onto the base, again, completely symmetrical. Place a triangle on every single bit of the base. Now on these corner pieces, we can go ahead and add two more, so the base looks like this. Like so. From here, we go ahead and place walls on each um, open part of the base. And we can place our roof triangles here. Go ahead and create your nice little jump up with a door and a window on each side. We can then go ahead and place wall frames on each bit and on the inside as well. We can now go ahead and fill in our roof. You can add a wall frame in here for stability. Coming back to the top of the base, we can go ahead and place half walls and roofs on this little bit here. Remember to do this for each side. Now before we can place the roofs on top of here, you can place one, but you will not be able to place the other. We need to go down to the bottom of the base and create our bedrooms. Easy as that. Place a wall frame on the middle like so. Skipping this one because this will be our jump up, we can just place two triangle roofs here. and then do our bedroom on the other side. Now we should be able to place these roofs.
For the doorway, we want to place a window to the left and a doorway to the right. In turn, create an airlock. We can then go ahead and finish the rest of our peaks with low walls. On the inside of the base, we can go ahead and create our little shelves. We can do that for all of it. We can also go ahead and upgrade our TC room and place a window in front. We can also go ahead and place all of our garage door frames up here. Now, moving on to the deployables.
This is for the three winners of the gift cards. If you see your name, hit me up on Discord and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Peace.